Hey hi everyone this is admin from admin365 and today we are going to talk about how to perform imap migration in office 365 let's get started before we start the topic a small introduction about me i currently work as microsoft 365 support ambassador for microsoft our day to day routine is to take care of service requests created around Microsoft 365 products and services. So please do consider subscribing for exclusive content and the resolutions for common issues with Office 365. And let's resume the topic. So before we perform the IMAP migration, we should know the limitation of it as well. The most important limitation in an IMAP migration is that it only migrates emails to Office 365. So your contacts, tasks, calendars, which are present on the IMAP server will not be migrated. You will have to migrate them in a PST. With that being said, uh, let's see how we can perform it. You just have to go to office.com, sign in with your admin account and then go to the admin center and once here uh, you can click on show all and it is under setup so once we click on setup so once the page loads uh, we just have to scroll down till we see the migration tab and uh, in that you will see migrate user data this is the option which will allow us to do an imap migration and uh, the other one is for the G Suite migration. So if you have your domain hosted with Google plus the email services with them, uh, you can perform this. And for the IMAP migration, we'll go here. And uh, click on view migrations. If you have a domain with some third party email provider, which is on the IMAP, you will have to choose this option. And then uh, you will have to use the IMAP server name. If you are not aware of the IMAP uh, server names, you can just contact the third party email provider and ask them for the same. So once uh, we click save on this, uh, it will try to check the server settings with the email address and the password which you have provided in the step. Once it confirms that, uh, on the next page we will see something like this. Uh, you will have all the users within the tenant listed on the left side. And uh, the source emails are the emails from where you want to migrate it. And uh, the password is for the source email. So uh, you just have to enter, for example, here is Alex. You just have to enter Alex mailbox on the third party server where we want to migrate Alex data to the new Alex mailbox of Office 365. So we will add Alex at domain.com followed by Alex password, which is on the third party email servers. and. Uh, once you enter the password, it will automatically check it and it will let you know whether the connection was successful or not. If you see a green check, that means that it is successful. Uh, you will have to do the same for all the users present on the tenant. Their source email address followed by the password. Once you do that and select all the email boxes, just click on start migration. And once you click on start migration, the migration will start. It is a long process. It will take its time. Uh, it has different stages. It will start. It will be in the start phase, then uh, syncing phase, and then synced phase. Uh, once it is on the synced phase, it means that the emails are copied completely. You can check your mailbox and confirm the same. Once you confirm it, you can click on close connection and that will stop the migration it is pretty simple steps for the imap migration you can do it by yourself and for free in case you have any issues you can drop it in the comment section i will 
answer that for you as well uh, that's pretty much imap migration if you have any question as i mentioned do let me know in the comment section till then uh, you guys have a nice day bye bye